Straight all day. Stay all day. Tuned in to the show where you learn the discipline to show up day after day to do the work, the confidence to put yourself out there, boldly and authentically, and the mental toughness to continue showing up, doing the work, putting yourself out there, even when the success you're expected to achieve is yet to be achieved. And on top of all this, we're not done. You're gonna get a huge dose of personal initiative, which is the go-get energy that takes all of that and actually puts it into action. So you can go and make things happen instead of waiting for things to happen. And then we put all this together into one bundle, one package, one mindset, one method, one philosophy, one book, one show. We got a bunch of books, actually. I always say one book, but I got a bunch of books. If you didn't know, you will soon find out. But you are listening to the Daily Masterclass. This is the Daily Masterclass, not a, the Daily Masterclass. All of this goes under one umbrella that is called Work on your game. My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day, and welcome to the show. And today's topic, success is hard on the front end and easy on the back end. And failure is the exact opposite. Easy on the front end, hard on the back end. So today, I guess you could call this, you could call this actually a little bit of a, a motivational topic. You know, I don't really aim for motivation here on this show, even though you may, that may be what you get from it. And some of these topics, I don't really aim for that. But today, this is a this is not only you could use this as a motivational slash inspirational topic, but also just a philosophical idea of what I want you to understand as you go out there every day and you enact, you utilize that discipline, that discipline to keep showing up, doing the work, even though it might not be so fun and the rewards may not be immediate when you're enacting that discipline, but understanding that the hard work that you're doing now is going to pay off in the long run, because if you don't believe that, then you're not gonna do any hard work right now. So before I go further into the uh, introduction here, let me tell you that I have a text message line where I want you to text me and tell me the best insight you got from today's class. That could be, uh, if it's a new idea, just something that maybe you thought of in the past, but you haven't thought of in a while. Maybe it's just something to help uh, keep you on point, just give you a pick me up. Maybe you listen to this show, many people tell me they listen to this show when they're you know, getting ready in the morning, getting ready for work in the morning, or you're doing your exercise, and hey, you might not be that excited about going to work today, or you might not be that amped up for your workout today, but what you're gonna hear today has actually helped you get through the workout. If it's just that, I want you to text me and let me know. My number is 305-384-6894. And once you text me, not only will you be able to engage with me directly, you will also be able to you also will not be able to, but you will receive my daily motivation text message, which I send out every morning to everyone in my texting community. So even if you just want that daily motivation text, just send me a quick text right now to say hi. You'll be confirmed into my community and you'll get that daily motivation text, which I send out every morning. Those texts are fire, if I may say so myself. So this topic again, success hard on the front end, easy on the back end. Right, this is why you need to enact that mental toughness to keep pushing yourself to do the work every day, even when you haven't yet gotten the rewards or they are, their rewards seem to be a little bit late to the party. Because if you do the opposite and you decide to take it easy on the front end, maybe, maybe meaning not doing as much work or kind of uh, not going as hard on your work, not being as committed to your work right now, understand that in the end, you're gonna have to pay for that at some point. I mean, we all understand that the law of karma, that what goes around comes around. So what goes around is you not working hard at all Eventually, you're gonna to have to do that hard work. All right, life is gonna be hard at one point or another. It's just a matter of when do you want it to be hard? Do you want to control it or do you want to have it controlling you? So let's get into the points here so you can understand this even better. And I would take notes on this if I were you. I'm not you, but if I was you, that's what I would do. So all that said, let's get into today's topic. Topic again, success is hard on the front end, easy on the back end, failure. Easy on the front end, hard on the back end. Point number one, trust that the work that you do today will pay off tomorrow. I mean, this is just the simple mentality of being disciplined. This is what my newest book, The Third Day, is all about. If you haven't read that book yet, let me show you a copy of it for those who are watching on video. It is this book right here. You can get a free copy of this book. Just cover the shipping by going to thirddaybook.com. But the philosophy that that book is built on is understanding that you're gonna do some work now, and it might not be that fun, and you don't get any immediate rewards for it, but in the long run, as long as you keep doing that work, you will build up this whole, you'll build up a well of work that eventually is going to pay back. Because again, you believe in the law of karma that if you put out good, you're gonna get good back. So you keep putting good work in, eventually you have to get some a good payoff. I mean, anyone who understands or agrees with the just the, the laws of the universe would agree with that one. So this is the only mentality that will make this philosophy work. 
your trust that investing in effort today is worth it because you're going to make it back tomorrow. And when I say today and tomorrow, I mean that in a, a metaphoric way. So today might be this year and tomorrow might be five years from now. Don't necessarily mean like today, Monday, tomorrow, Tuesday. If you don't believe in setting yourself up for tomorrow, I mean, why would you invest anything? Why would you do any kind of unpleasant thing or any kind of hard work if you don't believe in getting the payback for doing that work? It's kind of like if you have children, why would you invest in you know, teaching your kids or doing it, spending time with your kids or doing something that might be a little bit inconvenient for you individually, but it will help your kid out. Why would you do that if you don't think that that time invested is going to actually help your child be a better person in the future? You probably wouldn't do it, but we all do it. Any of, any of those of you who are parents or any of you who is a teacher, any of you who's a coach, any of you who's a mentor, you have people who are you know, looking up to you or you've taken under your wing in some way and they're looking to you for guidance in some aspect, you do things that might be a little bit inconvenient for you to help them out because you believe, like consciously or unconsciously, that there's some payback that they're going to get for it. So if you don't believe in setting yourself up for the future, you would never make any investments. And remembering that your investments in life as referenced in episode 609, our time, money, attention, energy, and focus is not just money. So investing comes in many forms. So you might as well use all of that investing now and so that you can have your payoff coming or at least as much investing as you can now so you can have your payoff coming. But if you didn't believe in that, then you might as well just enjoy yourself today because look, tomorrow may never come. But if you really think about it, if you put yourself in that frame of mind, well, hey, there may never be a tomorrow. Maybe all this hard work that I'm doing right now will never pay off. And sometimes we get into these frames of mind if we're doing a whole lot of hard work for an extended period, relatively speaking, and we haven't gotten our payback yet. You might be thinking to yourself, well, am I doing all this work for nothing? And I have received many messages over the years from many people from different walks of life who are in that space, at least temporarily, who say, well, look, Dre, I've done all of this work. And they give me some description of the effort and time that they put into things, these investments that they've been making, but they haven't gotten the ROI from that work. And they're saying, well, has this all been a waste? Is, is the tomorrow that you're talking about here, Dre, is it never going to show up? Well, here's my, my response to that. I want you to think about your age right now. Think about, think of the, the number of candles on your birthday cake. And then I want you to multiply that by 365 because in most years, there's 365 days in a year. So if you're 25 years old listening to me right now, that means you have lived at least 9,125 tomorrows. That's 365 times 25. 9,125 times whatever you did today, you had to, whatever you reaped, no, excuse me, whatever you sowed today, you reaped. 9,125 times on quote unquote tomorrow. So the odds are, I would say, not, since you made it to tomorrow 9,125 times and against zero, you never did not make it to tomorrow since you've been alive, I would bet on, if I was a gambling person, I don't really do too much gambling. I'll, I'll spend a, a few dollars at the roulette wheel at, in Vegas, but I know that it's set up for me to lose, so I don't do too much gambling. And there's no sports gambling in Florida, at least as of this recording, but I hear it is on the way. But the thing is, if I was a gambling person and it was available, I would bet on you probably making it to another tomorrow since it's already happened 9,125 times to zero. I mean, what, what do you think? I mean, I'm not, the, I'm not a mathematician. I took college calculus four times in college and not because I had to take it four times. I only need to pass it once. You can do the math on that. But I think that sounds like good odds to me. But again, what do you think? Point number two. Today's topic, once again, success is hard on the front end, easy on the back end. Failure, easy on the front end, hard on the back end. Number two, understand the concept of investment. Again, as we talk about in episode 609, what investment means in, a, a very, in very simple terms. You put something in now and theoretically, you're going to get more back later. You work hard now and you're going to get some return on that hard work that is worth more than the whatever you had to put in to make that hard work happen. This is also what some people know as karma, as I mentioned already, what goes around comes around. I've never met a person who told me they don't believe in karma. Everybody seems to believe in karma when they're getting the things that they want, but nobody believes in karma when they're getting the things that they don't want. Go figure. And then also the golden rule. 
What's the golden rule? Do unto others as you wish to be done unto yourself or give as you wish to receive, right? Everyone, it seems like I've never come across anyone who didn't agree with these principles. So since we all agree with these principles, I'm gonna make the assumption that everyone listening to my voice right now agrees with these principles. If you want success later, tomorrow, so to speak, do the work for it today. I mean, is that, uh, that seems like a simple enough concept to me. I don't, is there anyone who does not understand that? Send me a text and we can work it out. We all know that we don't get something for nothing. Anyone who's listened to a show called Work On Your Game, even if you don't know who I am or what Work On Your Game is about, you can just listen to that phrase, Work On Your Game, and you know that this show is about you actually doing something. You know it's about something that has to do with productivity or hard work or effort or you know, putting something in in order to get something out. Even if you have no idea who I am or what I'm about, just reading that phrase, work on your game, you have an idea what the show is going to. So 10 minutes into this episode, if you're still listening, I think you're the type of person who understands that you don't get something for nothing in life. That success comes with a price tag. There's a price to be paid in order to be successful in life. So since, again, I'm making another assumption. I'm making a couple assumptions here today. So if, I, if I'm wrong on any of these, you can text me and you can let me know. My number is down below in the show notes. So ideally, you can find that mix of investment combined with enjoyment that produces success. This is the key right here, where you're investing in something, meaning you're putting in the work, you're putting in the time, you're showing up every day and you know, doing the thing that you're doing, which might not always be fun, but at the same time, you want to find that mix of that investment plus something that you actually enjoy. Ideally, you can find something that when you're making the investment, you actually enjoy doing it. So, for example, my background as a professional athlete playing sports and showing up and practicing every day was not always fun. There were some days I didn't really feel like being at practice, but in a general sense, overall, was that a pretty fun job to have, even though there were some days I didn't feel like having a job? Absolutely, because there was the enjoyment of, I'm doing something I actually have fun doing, which is playing basketball, even though there were some job parts of it that I didn't always like. And I was investing in myself, which is investing in getting better at basketball, investing in the team so we'd be better for the games, investing in you know, myself and my career so that I could continue my career, you know, continue making money as a professional and doing the things that I wanted to do. So there, that was a combination of hard work, investing and enjoyment because I actually enjoyed the work. So anyone listening to me here, do, do you enjoy your job? Do you like what you do for a living? Do you like your career or your business or whatever it is that you're doing with your life? If you enjoy it, and there's hard work involved, then it's a little bit easier to do hard work when you actually enjoy the hard work, or at least you enjoy something about the hard work. It might not be the work itself, but there's something about it that you enjoy. It's a little bit easier to deal with that hard work. I would say that enjoying the work that you do is kind of like WD-40 oil for hard work. That's a good metaphor for it. Everybody knows what WD-40 is. If you don't, it's this spray, it smells like, it's very, it's very greasy, it's like some oily type, this oil. It is oil itself, and it comes in this blue can, and it's blue can, it has this bright red top on it, and it has a little straw connected to it, and then when you press on the button, the, the oil sprays out of the little straw. Basically, WD-40 oil kind of like greases up. You would use it if you had like a, a door hinge in your house, and the door is real squeaky. You would spray the WD-40 on the hinge, and then the hinge just stops squeaking. It opens much more easily, is more smooth, and the squeaking goes away. If you have any rusty nails or rusty, any type of rusty metal components connected to each other and it's hard to screw them off or they're just making too much noise every time you open them or it feels like it's, it's creaky, you spray the WD-40 on it and all of a sudden that goes away. I would use WD-40 sometimes. Now, I'm not a, I am far from being a handyman. I'm not the type of person to go, you know, knock down walls in a house or you know, build a build a new bathroom fixture. I'm not that type of person. I pick up my phone and call somebody to go do that. But I have used WD-40 oil for something like on my bicycle, not a motorcycle, but a bicycle. If I haven't rode the bike in a while, the chain might get a little bit rusty. So I get the WD-40 oil, spray it all over the chain and the gears of the bike so that the gears of the bike will actually move smoothly. That's what WD-40 oil does for in a mechanical sense. And I believe that's the original reason why it was created. So I'm giving you a metaphor here that enjoying your work is like WD-40 oil for the work itself. It makes it much easier to do. It's not that you're not doing it anymore. It's just easier to do. So for example, if you like exercising, then the investment of going to the gym 
because it's helping, helping your overall health. So it's helping you in the long run, but at the same time, you're enjoying it. So that is enjoyable while at the same time setting you up for future success of being healthy and hopefully living longer and you know, avoiding the hospitals and avoiding medication and doctors and medical bills. If you find work that you enjoy, you can have a good time working hard while also building for your future. I mean, simple formula. This is one of the main reasons why people tell you they say, they say things like follow your passion or as I like to say, follow your energy and attention. Because if you're giving energy and attention to something, that means you probably enjoy it. We usually don't give too much energy and attention to things that we don't enjoy, unless we happen to be on social media uh, getting angry and arguing with people. Other than that, we don't give too much energy and attention to things that we don't enjoy. Since you likely enjoy things that you're giving attention to, find some work that is connected to the things you already pay attention to, or that you pay attention to when you have time on your hands, and It'll be much easier to do that hard work and that's where you get an unfair advantage over others because the hard work is not that is not a grind for you if the hard work is a grind then eventually you're going to grind yourself down and i got a whole master class coming on that topic of giving yourself an unfair advantage very soon point number three today's topic once again success easy on the front end hard on the back end failure excuse me let I me mean, i got that backwards topic again today let me say that again success is hard on the front end easy on the back end failure is easy on the front end hard on the back end. Point number three, today is the only time that we have. Uh, you are not guaranteed tomorrow and yesterday is over. But however, today is also yesterday's tomorrow. Yesterday, we could say to ourselves, we're not guaranteed tomorrow, but guess what? We all made it here. So again, looking at the odds, if you're 25 years old, 9,125 times you have made it to tomorrow. If you are 50 years old, then you have made it to tomorrow 18,250 times. 18,250 to, to zero, not to one, to zero odds. I guess you could say one, there's a chance that you might not make it. But 18,250 to one, I would probably, I mean, gambling wise, it would actually, I can make a lot of money if that one actually occurs by bet on you dying. But let's just say that you might not, that you might make it to tomorrow. Don't just live for today. Assuming that you're going to be here tomorrow, you can enjoy today because it is technically the only day that you have. That is correct. But know that the smart money says, just do the calculation for yourself. You will probably make it one more day. Again, multiply your age in numbers by the number 365. This is how many times you've made it one more day. You could even add in the leap years if you want, if you want to be a geek about it. And you probably want to set yourself up for enjoying that tomorrow that you're most likely going to make it to. Think about how many tomorrows you've already made it to. Again, this requires you to, to believe that there will be a tomorrow for you. You know, if you think you're gonna die today, okay, that's fine. I, I appreciate you spending your last day listening to the Work On Your Game Masterclass, but assuming that you're listening to this because you're planning for your future, again, look at the odds. You'll either see tomorrow or you'll die. So you read or watch anything on the concept of compounding, the sooner you start, Anything you read about compounding, the simple idea that I've gotten from it, and again, I'm not an investment expert, not a financial investment expert, but when it comes to work on your game investing, I'm an, I'm an expert at that. But anything you read about compounding, the, one of the general ideas that I've always understood is that the sooner you begin, the more you will have later and the less effort will be required later to get certain types of results. And anyone here who's in finance, I know I've got a few people in finance who listen to this show, Anyone who's in, in, in finance, if I got that wrong, please correct me and I'll correct it on the next episode. Often regarding money, but this applies to everything, this concept of compounding. So skill development, put in more now, the sooner you start, the easier it will be to develop the skills. For example, I used to play basketball. That was my profession. These days, I don't play basketball anymore. People often ask me, Joy, do you even play like in leagues or pick up or for fun and things like that? The answer is no, I do not play any basketball whatsoever, like zero. But one thing that I do partake in is uh, one of my friends down here in Miami is a boxing trainer. He trains like real fighters. So I hire him to do boxing training with me while I do boxing training with him a couple days a week. Now, one of the things that he told me when we first started working together, I was probably, I don't know what age I was. I'm 39 now. So I was in my mid 30s, something like that. When we first started working together, and one of the things he told me was, look, there are certain abilities that I can teach you, I'm gonna teach you as best as I can teach you, but 
there are certain things that you're probably not going to be able to pick up on innately, Dre, simply because you're just starting now and you're already a fully grown adult and you already out, already have these habits of movement within you. He said, when I, if I wanted to teach someone to become an actual fighter, I need to start with them when they're eight, nine, 10, 11 years old, when they're a kid, when they haven't already, they don't already have all these ingrained habits because I can teach them, I can mold them. They're, they're malleable at that point. But somebody who's 35 or someone who's 27 or someone who's 50 they are not as malleable because they already have all these habits in place and as i've learned more about boxing i'm never going to try to become a professional boxer or anything like that but as i learn more about boxing i see so many of the similarities and some of the just the instinctive things that you can learn in boxing if you start at it at a younger age the same way with basketball i learned a lot of things i understand innately and instinctively with basketball that if I was just starting to play basketball right now, I would never be able to pick up on those things no matter how much I practice simply because I have a whole lifetime of learning all a whole bunch of other things that don't go with what basketball will require of me. So when it comes to skill development, it works the exact same way. It doesn't mean you can't learn a new skill, but if you want to get it to a proficient level, like a professional possible level, you probably want to start it early. And this is why we have to be very wise about the choices that we make in our youth because they do matter. Even though we can make different choices later, it does matter. Just a side note there. Relationships. You, there's compounding in a relationship. You put in good time at the beginning, hopefully, there's less effort later on. It doesn't mean no effort, but just less effort later on. Reputation building. You build a solid reputation from the beginning, hopefully you don't have to work so hard to maintain it moving forward. So anything you do in life, the more you put in up front, the easier it'll be on the back end. Let's recap today's class, which is... Success, hard on the front end, easy on the back end. Failure, easy on the front end, hard on the back end. Point number one, trust that today's work is going to pay off tomorrow. What you do today is going to pay off. This is the only mentality that will make the third day philosophy work that is going to keep you disciplined, keep you mentally tough, and keep you showing up every day. Knowing that there is going to be a tomorrow that you're going to be here to see because you already lived to see it you know, 9, 10, 20,000 times depending on your age. Just multiply your age by 365. You made it to tomorrow that many times. Odds are you probably will again, so you might as well be ready for it. Point number two, understand the concept of investment. You put something in now, you get more back later. You understand the law of karma. You understand the golden rule is the exact same thing. You give what you want to get back. If you want success later, do the work for it right now. Ideally, because somebody might say, well, listen, is life supposed to just be all work and grind and hustle? What about enjoying life, Joy? Ideally, then, here's the answer, Find something where there's a combination of you're doing the work that will pay off later, but at the same time, you actually enjoy some aspect or maybe all of the work. If you enjoy the thing that you do for work, then you're killing two birds with one stone, one stone, so to speak. So this is one of the main reasons people tell you to follow your passion or like I say, follow your energy and attention. Number three, today is the only time that you have. This is true. But however, today is also yesterday's tomorrow and tomorrow will be today's tomorrow. So don't just live for today. Enjoy today is the only day that you have because it is. But at the same time, remember that odds are you're probably going to be here tomorrow. So look at your odds and know that since you'll probably be here tomorrow, think about the concept of compounding. The earlier you start and the more you put in now, the easier it will be and the less will be required of you later on. This is simply how the game works. Get your copy of my book, The Third Day, so you understand how you can actually start doing this. You can start compounding your own success right now. And the earliest time to start is right now in the moment. You can't go back in the past, so let's start where we are. Send me a text. Tell me the best insight you got from today's class. My number is 305-384-6894. And anyone who is interested in talking about or having someone who can help you map out and strategize and hold you accountable for compounding your own results and creating that outcome that you want in your personal and or your professional life. You may be a great candidate for my third day mastermind. That is the only place that I offer direct one-on-one -on -one coaching. Go to the link down below in the show description is work on your game university.com slash call. You can sign up for a zoom call with me free of charge. We'll talk about where you're at, where you want to go and how it can help you get there. Work on your game. Dre all day.